Yeah, we, we had serious doubts we were going to be able to bring the ship in here because normally it's covered in ice. Huh. And now we're asking all kinds of questions. Why is this area 450 kilometers long, open water, all winter long, and now we take the ship in here and we don't even bump into a single ice flow. What you can see here is a July 2008 satellite image of Nair Strait and notice all the sea ice flooding the strait. In this recent July 2009 satellite image, Nair Strait is completely ice free. In fact, Nair Strait has been open water throughout the winter. It hasn't consolidated. Here we are at Peterman Glacier. It's really a rare opportunity to be here. And thanks to the Greenpeace ship, we're able to make measurements on the surface of this very large glacier where we anticipate an area larger than Manhattan Island will break away. We've got a vast array of measurements. And with these, we can better understand the sensitivity of glaciers to climate during a period of warming. The Arctic is melting down even faster than scientists' worst-case scenarios. This means we need urgent action on the part of developed countries to deal with climate change. This means cuts in greenhouse gas emissions of at least 40 percent. Anything less than this condemns the Arctic to more meltdown and also condemns the rest of the world to catastrophic climate change.